When picking apart the rotors and their seals, don't worry about tracking the location of each part. Most of the seals are very similar in size and may need to be replaced anyway. Use caution when handling these parts. They are very sharp and may cut you. Be sure to get the springs and all of the carbon out from under the side seals. Remove the oil pressure regulator from the bottom of the front cover. Be sure to keep the spring and the plunger that came out. On the oil metering drive, remove the clips, the pin and the gear from the shaft. Then push the shaft straight out of the cover. For cleaning the parts, a local auto repair shop may allow you to clean parts with their solvents. You may also purchase cleaners from an auto parts store. 200 grit sandpaper and a flat block is very useful on the sides of the rotor housings and the end plates where the rotor housings touch. Also be sure to remove all old gaskets and flat block these areas so that they're nice and flat and clean. I do not recommend using orbital sanders for cleaning these areas because it rounds off the areas and the gaskets won't stay in place. 